Alright, what's going on guys? This is my uh, largest printer. It is a thousand thousand by sixteen hundred. Um, and what I wanted to kind of highlight here is the uh, lightning infill. So I had recently tried printing another one of these large artistic prints. This is just a piece of art um, blown up. So the original piece of art was like this big and now you know we're making it 18 inches big. Um, but it had failed, and it had seemed mostly because of the lightning infield that it had failed initially. Um, this is being printed in PETG. He wanted, he wanted it clear, and, and he wanted these to be good to be uh, placed outside so the PETG won't, uh, you know, won't lose its color or, or dull or anything over time. Being outside, um, and it will stand a little bit more temperatures than the PLA will. Um, but why it had failed, why the lightning infill had failed, Specifically, PETG is a little more stringy. Um, as we can see, there are a couple strings in here, but overall, that's pretty good. That's probably one of the best, least stringiest PETGs I've printed so far. Um, so temperature helped a little bit, but the biggest thing was when you first do the lightning infill, it's just a single wall. So so it comes out and it, uh, it you know, if you look right down the center, there's one big kind of triangle piece there, and and. I noticed that like halfway up it was just stringing like it had never kind of built that triangle now over time I've noticed with the bigger printers and stuff like that if you have a big open case like this and it gets stringy kind of low the strings kind of eventually build up to a point to where it'll start making what it needs to um, so I'll generally leave it so I left it and it worked for a bit and it got up to about this height and it had caught somewhere on the back not on this print again but a different one that was a little bit more complex um, so I decided I wanted to do a, a, an easier one with some different settings um, but it had caught and broken, and, and that piece is over there. We actually used it for some target practice with a little BB gun. Um, but what made this one better, and what made it work in the first place, and why it looks so good, and I'll do a nice you know look of the of the whole thing here in a minute, is I doubled up the infill walls. So so this infill, you know, it's still a little movable, but like right here, this lightning infill is really really strong. Um, so it's now three walls around the outer. And this is using a 0.8 nozzle, so it's already a thick nozzle um, at a 0.35 layer height. So we're, we're doing pretty decent on a layer height. I was just talking to someone else that was successfully doing 0.45. Um, so I might end up even stepping this up to a four layer height at some point because it's doing this beautifully. And if I can save a little bit more time on certain things like this, you know, a 0.35 layer height doesn't look bad on when you're talking, you know, several feet uh, printers or prints um, but this so, so going into your cura settings you go to wall in, or no infill uh, line count uh, so when you do infill line count from one to two now all of my lightning is doubled so it's going out and it's coming back in on itself and with that that's what's made this really strong now everything's staying sturdy um, so it's you know there's there's literally 1.6 millimeters probably about 1.5 because it overlaps I think like 10% um, millimeters of uh, lightning infill here space so getting a better look I'll try to move the camera around uh, and kind of see how it looks which is super neat I really really like how this works because it really really hollows the print I mean look at how much of this print is empty space like that's that's super neat, in my opinion. Um, so you can see that's kind of the the general shape. You know, if you're asking what is this, you know, I think it was a piece of clay that he used some bars and scrapers on to uh, shape. And honestly speaking, it looks pretty decent. And you could probably even like chop the top of this. Like if I stop this print, like just right here and it didn't have a top I mean that would be a really cool looking vase it'd be you know I think the art style is contemporary um, don't even ask me to define contemporary but that's what he said I, I think that's the one where it's just like it's cool looking stuff it's not that it's a car or a plane or a, you know a specific rock formation it's just like you ask more about how it's made and what it's made of and stuff like that but uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of highlight what this lightning infill was. We won't let this carry on more than five minutes because it times out at five minutes on this uh, super stable setting. So uh, have a good time, guys, and thanks.